to Sail and Carico. This video is a little bit different than some of my other ones because it's actually about a motorcycle and motorcycle maintenance instead of sailing. So um, what I'm going to be doing in this episode is repairing a few things on this uh, bike. It's a Harley Davidson HD Street 500 or XG 500 and um, it's had a few issues so far. Uh, it, when I filmed this, it was about two and a half years old, and I've had a, you know, a, quite a slew of problems with it. What I'm actually repairing in this video is called the idle cable. Um, the throttle grip uh, handle has two cables going to the uh, um, intake system or the throttle body. Uh, one's called the throttle cable, one's called the idle cable. Excuse me, replacing the idle cable and uh, also going to uh, work on replacing a switch, a brake light switch, uh, that's for the front brake and uh, fix a few wires and replace the spark plugs. So hopefully this video will help out someone who has this bike and uh, you know if they're thinking of uh, tackling these projects. So it's not too hard, um, it takes a couple hours, not a big deal. And um, also, you'll see on this video, there's a few rants about the motorcycle. Uh, you know, my experience has been less than uh, positive with it. Uh, so I'd like to hear, actually, your comments on the bike. If you have one, uh, leave, uh, s leave some info down below in the comment section. If you like the video, like, subscribe. Um, I have an Instagram account and also Patreon if you want to become a sponsor. Uh, the links to Instagram and uh, Patreon are in the description. So I uh, wanted to thank you for watching in advance and uh, definitely let me know what you think. Thank you. So I figured out uh, that the that one of the cables was broken because when I turn this it has a lot of play or it used to just have very minimal play before the throttle actually engaged. So I did some investigation. I took this apart and um, found that this cable was just coming out uh, and I could, could just keep pulling it and I took the air filter out and breather cover and same thing I was able to pull the cable from the other end um, obviously the the sheath shown here is in good shape uh, I need to remove the tank or at least move it out of the way to see if uh, I can get to that but first I'm gonna have to remove the seat uh, the other thing is the, you can see this where my pinky is pointing, the switch here for the brake light, it's stuck. And when I ordered the new piece, I, it looks like this rubber material, I don't know if you can see it opening, it's probably too dark. Uh, this rubber material is different on the new version of the switch, so must be something they know about. One of the last things I'm going to complain about for right now is the speedometer. Uh, the again, I may not show here, but right the tip of my finger, the bevel is cracked or bezel. And uh, I came out of work one day, it was a warm day, and that thing just cracked on its own. Again, that was last summer, so the bike wasn't even two years old at that point. And I do keep this covered in the winter, or most times actually. take the seat off you have to slide it back and then pull it forward. I'm going to take the cover off here. filter is pretty dirty. I'm going to need to order a replacement. There's four hex bolts holding the breather cover on. Uh, they're two different size bolts. So I'll need a different size wrench.
one size key, not wrench, sorry. It. There is a tube, a breather tube, connected here. I uh, want to remove that. But there's a spring loaded clip which is not easy to get to. get creative. You can see here it's a throttle body. Right here is where the cables come to. I've already removed because I was able to pull out the uh, the idle cable. It's missing from there. A little close up of the throttle body there and where the cable connects. Going to attempt to remove the tank. <clears throat> That's on there tight. Now I've never removed this tank, removed it, so I'm not sure how it's going to go. Okay, the tank does have fuel in it, so I'm being very, very careful. Gracie decided to come out and help a little bit, but also checking out the neighbors. Gracie. I'm going to start taking apart the the throttle or the, uh, the knob and the assembly here, or the grip, I should say. There's one screw holding the, this clip that goes here. And then there's just two screws that split this unit in half. So it's pretty pretty easy to to open this part of it up. This is the top half of the, the grip mechanism. Is Gracie helping? Here's some detail. You can see when I move the grip, this is the second half of the idle cable. Might as well just pull it out. I don't know if you can see that, but that's a pretty damn clean break. Might be a little fuzzy. All right, so I'm gonna try to feed this through without taking the old one yet, or old one out yet. So, wish me luck. So far, so good. And actually, I can put the clip back on. I fed this through part of the way. Now I need to move the tank. 
some more uh, without spilling any fuel or anything, so I'm gonna figure that out. So what I'm gonna try to do is cut the old cable, the sheath. So I think I found where it split. Uh, the insulation split, there's a hard bend on here. This must be exactly where, where the cable had uh, just snapped. And this is a little scary because it looks like the throttle cable has that same bend. So I'm gonna have to order a replacement as well and install that. All right, here I go. I'm going to cut this. Double check that I have the right cord. Yeah. That's out of the way. There's a wire tie right here. I'm just going to slide the new cable under that. I'll at least try. Yeah, there it goes. I'm going to use a screwdriver to pop the end off the old cable. And it's not coming off. I'm not really sure why. Ah, okay, so I figured it out. All you have to do is pull it straight up. And now it's just a question of feeding the new cable through. And I just have to feed it straight down. Which is proving to be more challenging than I thought. There it goes. Oh, that couldn't have been good. Alright, that's connected. Okay, so I got the idle connected and the throttle just broke. Snapped. Yeah, this is great. So I just spent all this time taking this apart and replacing one cable and the other one literally snapped before I even finished. So I'm gonna have to do all this over again because I'm gonna have to take or put everything back together uh, so I can move the bike back to its spot and then uh, order a new cable and uh, yeah, Harley Davidson, we've been building bikes for a hundred years, this sucks. Well, since uh, all this work was for not today and I have to order another part, I did order some spark plugs and I figured since I was going to have the tank off, I might as well replace them. So I got a couple here, I need to find out what the gap is and uh, figure out how to get the covers off. So I'm going to give that a shot. Alright, so I'm removing the spark, the old spark plug. And 
The old one's actually in pretty good shape, but I'm still going to replace it. Now you want to do this carefully so you don't cross-thread it. And you always want to turn it by hand until it's tight. So that way you know it's not cross-threaded. And I believe it's about half a turn for a new one. Well, that was a little more than half a turn, but it was pretty loose. Probably would have been a good idea to use anti-seize on it. And then pop the cover back in. Okay, since I have that one in place, I can start putting all of this back together on this side. Actually, no, I better wait. I'm going to do the other side. The uh, spark plug's on the opposite end. I'm using a paper towel. Putting it in there, there's a little water in there, so I don't want that to get all the way down in the block before I pop the cover off. Yep, so I have this in here. I'm gently pressing it down to absorb any water. Good. So very gently pry the cable off. Here's the uh, other one. Looked a bit oily. Check the gap on this. This one's this one's perfect. Slides in. Looks like it's seated well. There it goes. There's a noticeable pop when it goes into place. Now I'm going to try to get the tank back into its proper spot. Good. Starting to put this back together. And 
next step I'm gonna put the seat back on since we don't need to access it anymore so you slide it under the, the grip carefully so you don't scratch up the tank slide it back caught under the front of the tank here it takes it, there's a bit of a trick to it you have to fiddle with it for a while you push it forward and you just hand tighten the uh, screw in the back that's it now when I got this bike from the dealership uh, the seat was a little scuffed uh, when I was taking delivery so they pulled the seat off another bike and put it on here and when I was driving away they didn't have this front piece connected properly and it popped up way to go Harley all right so I'm gonna refit the breather cover and finish putting everything back together Just trying to get the tube back on and and the clip to fasten it. That should be good. All right, so that's in place. wiping down the inside of the air filter because of the breather there's a little bit of oil I'm gonna order a fresh filter so when I replace the new cable the new throttle cable I will then uh, put a new filter on since I'm already in there Last piece is the cover. There's a gasket. That's part of the breather cover. You want to make sure that uh, this is seated properly around that gasket. So what I want to do now, even though I can't throttle it up, I want to just make sure it starts with the new plugs. Try that again. All right, so Harley, I keep taking the bike back because the neutral switch doesn't go on and every time I take it to the dealer they say it's totally fine and it works and I can't recreate it well here you go engines running bikes in neutral and you tell me where the neutral light is here's proof that it's running the neutral light should be here now I'm pulling the clutch in and I'm gonna wiggle oh it's in here well now I don't have a neutral light at all well here you go after much wiggling putting it in first and then second and back down the neutral light you can see is now on Harley don't tell me there's not a problem when there really is now I'm going to replace the faulty two and a half year old brake light switch. I know it's a little dark, but the switch is under the, the brake handle. 
just one screw. I don't know if you can see there. Let me widen this out a little bit. Uh, still hard to see. Basically, two wires. Just pull them free. Right here, maybe too close. This is the button. It's getting stuck. new part. Why they put it one bag and then a second bag, I have no idea. Now, if you look at the old part, the top piece here, look at this one. This is a new one. It's clear. I don't know if they figured they were having a problem and they changed the material, but this definitely feels more elastic So the same thing, it's just in the reverse order. Plug the two cables in. Pull the brake handle. Put it in place. Gonna have to pull the brake handle again to feed the screw in place. And that's that. Now comes time to test it. Turn the ignition back on. Pull the brake. And I'm road legal again. So I'm going to try to repair this split. Unfortunately I do not have any uh, crimp on connectors and uh, heat shrink tubing with me so I'm gonna to have to get that but for the time being I'm going to try to use plain old electrical tape uh, to temporarily uh, fix it so when I'm gonna carefully cut away some of this I'm going to try to zoom in. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. They're both split. Harley, I don't know what kind of uh, wire you're using, but this it feels very stiff, and that shouldn't split, especially after two years. Like I said, I'm going to go back and do a proper repair, but at least for now, with a little bit of electrical tape, I know it'll be safe. Hopefully it doesn't split completely and I lose a turn signal. But we'll see. You know, and I was, a, I was concerned about a short as well. And I can actually see, you may not be able to see it, but I can see that the wires are fraying. Been building bikes for what, over a hundred years? These things should be perfect. Especially what you charge for this. Okay. So we have that. And I'm gonna wrap the whole thing. I have some heat shrink tubing down at the boat and some good heat shrink connectors as well, you know, crimp on. I'll use that to fix it. I'll put one smaller piece of tape on there just to get protected from water. And if I pan out, you can hardly tell.